Bom dia, dear friends. Welcome to Ralph's new life and nature here at the Algarve in Portugal. It's Sunday afternoon. Still work going on here, uh, standing on my rooftop terrace here, and uh, you see that in a minute. But uh, beginning of the week, we saw really nice work by Fabio and Lucas on the painting. So the casa really gets white and shiny, and this is how I always wanted to see this. This uh, these colors of white on the wall, then the terracotta red of the of the roof uh, tiles and the nature around with the green and the blue in the sky. It's such a wonderful um, harmony together. And this you will see hopefully in this uh, video today. And then uh, really nice progress also here on the ruin, on the rooftop terrace here. It's a good, good project here. We want to extend the rooftop terrace where I stand here and um, to uh, have more space here, but at the same time also have uh, space under the rooftop terrace for a plant nursery. And you will see this also here in this video. So enjoy. Thanks again for watching as always and uh, see you next weekend again. Bye bye. Thursday morning, blue sky and it's painting day. Come with me and see. Standing here at the backside of the house, you see what is already painted. This part here and there. And this morning they started with the first paint here along this wall, which is the backside of the kitchen. And you see how beautiful this is. I really love this here, this pattern. Now let's go through the wine tunnel <laughs> on this sunny morning. You see these beautiful colors of the wine leaves. And then it's opening up here. You see the valley of the Fonte Benemola and the Cerro dos Negros. And when I turn, you see Lucas and Fabio working. So let's go first to Fabio. He's right here painting uh, the kitchen wall from the outside with the first real paint. What you see here in white, this is still the primer. And now he's taking uh, the real white color and starts painting the first paint and there will be a, th a second and a third paint so that the house in the end will be really, really white. <laughs> Good job, Lucas, excellent. And now here, let's go round and uh, Fabio is painting these ancient walls in front of my office. And he did a nice curve here, not painting these really old um, rocky stones that cover this ancient wall. And he's right here behind this uh, uh, cactus tree. And you see how carefully he is applying the white color. Nice work, Fabio. Thanks. Excellent. <laughs> it's a nice working place here in the morning with the sun and the carob tree here. It's really, really beautiful. So they decided to work here. And then finally going around here again and going back. So to give you an overview of the house, um, you see here the difference. This house here, the, the big facade, the big uh, wall here covering the uh, Fonte Benemula, it's still unpainted. There needs to be primer first and then three layers of white paint. So this will probably change a lot today and I will show you some more pictures and videos uh, uh, when it's ready.
as you can see, we have taken off many of these old uh, San Caterina tiles on the floor and now entering here the kitchen room, the future kitchen room, George is taking off the remaining really old rustic floor tiles. I think yeah, that's uh, most of them are broken, as you can see here, because this room was uh, used and uh, very much in comparison to the other room. But here, as you can see here, some of them are still complete, like this one. Hopefully, we can rescue those two. Oh. Yes. Oh. Excellent. One, Excellent. Two. One, two oh. more. Oh, no, no. Great. So, you see, this is how many we have rescued already. And this is how far George has come this morning. He's taking off the, um, the white um, skin of this old rustic wall in the future kitchen. Saturday morning, uh, Ivan continues with the work here on the uh, front for the roof tiles to render them nicely. And on the back of the ruin also work is going on and you will see that in a minute. Saturday afternoon, blue sky, as you can see, and uh, Ivan finished uh, the roof tiles. He rendered them, as you can see here, yeah, really nice, up until the end. Just rendering the last one and uh, oh yes, very carefully, even in the edges. Good job by Ivan here on a Saturday afternoon. Yes, great, excellent. And now that's continue our journey around the ruin let's see what's happening on the back side of the ruin ah i see you see george he's uh he's um, working on some iron and steel uh, for a basis that uh, will be put here you see romario he's uh, taking off the concrete here uh, we have to put down the iron here and we need to build up a column, a pillar right here and another one right there and then connect these pillars with vegans um, because we want to extend the rooftop here. So we need to a, a build a roof here and underneath the roof here where you can see also now the uh, natural stones uh, which were liberated here. This will be the place for the plant nursery in the future. And you see here on the rooftop already, Vladimir is still rendering. <laughs> Starts here now and uh, this is still what needs to be done. Maybe this afternoon, finishing also here this uh, side of the roof uh, all along. We'll see where this goes later on. Okay, let me try to demonstrate what we do on and under the new rooftop terrace. So getting out from the bedroom onto the rooftop terrace here. This is how it looks right now. And here you see the construction that we built this weekend. You see two pillars on the left side here, solidified, I uh, hope this is the right English word, with iron and also iron connected here on the ground to the other pillar here and this pillar will carry the extension of the roof top terrace here. Vladimir is bringing more masa for the concrete here so we're gonna <laughs> fill all this here now with concrete 
and then built up these pillars here and under this roof here that we're going to construct here will be the plant nursery and this is really the central point here it's ideal to have the plant nursery the workshop for all the garden work right here underneath because i can serve from this point the um, terrace um, beds here with for the herbs and then there will be along this wall there will be raised beds for veg vegetables tomatoes and so on and then here there's another large field where i can put many many raised beds so everything will be served here from the plant nursery right here which is close to the entrance for the kitchen here so this is the basic idea i hope you like it and this is going to be a major change within the next years